guys, how's it going? And welcome to this Reading FC versus Burton Albion match preview. So, obviously, last Saturday, a crucial win for the Brewers, a massive win for the Brewers. We managed to uh, scrape a 1-0 win away at Bolton Wanderers. Lloyd Dyer getting the goal. Uh, and it was, like I, say, uh, like I said in the match review, it was a half volley from the edge of the area, bobbling through past Anik. Reading, however, uh, didn't have the greatest of games. They actually uh, lost. Uh, so it's going to be a very interesting game. We're going to be looking to uh, continue our form against them at the Majeski Stadium. But they're going to be looking to uh, bounce back from that defeat uh, last week. So it's Reading's 500th game at the Majeski sta uh, Stadium. And uh, they are actually extremely close to selling out all of their tickets, I believe. Um, obviously, tickets are actually just five pounds, uh, so fair play to Reading. That is a great deal, a great way to get fans in too. And uh, it's actually, um, like I said, very close to a sellout. About uh, a few hours ago, they had just five hundred tickets remaining. So uh, it's a very special day for Reading as a club, uh, and I am partially hoping that we can uh, spoil it a bit for them. So let's get into the team news anyway. So first up we've got Reading, uh, John Swift is in line to return uh, after being sidelined for the last five games with a hamstring injury, uh, but Jap Sam has uh, hinted that he could uh, play a part against us after returning from said injury. Uh, the game could see Gareth McCleary and uh, George Evans feature after missing 12 and 15 games respectively. Uh, McClure's got a groin injury and uh, Evans had a thigh injury. Uh, but like it, like I say, it could see them return to the team. Although both have, uh, may have to settle for places on the bench if they are to play any part in the game. So Nigel Clough can pick from a uh, almost fully fit squad. Uh, with just two exceptions, possibly, possibly. Uh, one is uh, going to be Liam Boyce, who is almost certainly going to remain out with that knee injury that he uh, got in pre-season. Although he is reportedly nearing his fitness. So uh, maybe we could see him feature on Boxing Day, uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to wait until then to find out. And the other injury absentee is Joe Mason. He's uh, battling to overcome an acutely inflamed pe appendix. Uh, but Nigel Clough says everyone else will be in contention. So we got pretty much our whole squad to choose from. Uh, so, you know, there's no excuses now, Nigel. Uh, it's all over to you. Uh, obviously, uh, we returned to winning ways with that narrow victory over Bolton. Uh, and moved us off the bottom of the table. Uh, we currently sit uh, 22nd in the league. On 17 points. And Reading are... Got to do some maths now. Reading are eight places above us, and uh, ten points above us. A win uh, could only have the possibility of playing us out of the relegation zone into twenty-first. Uh, as we won't be able to jump above Barnsley, who are twentieth at the minute. They're on twenty-one points, uh, and we're on seventy, like I say. So uh, we won't be able to jump them until Boxing Day. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can get out of the relegation zone at least. So we've got some. Uh, Quick facts for you now. A Redden have won all three of the previous meetings against us, unfortunately, uh, scoring 12 goals in those victories. Uh, so, obviously, we visited the Majeski. Uh, uh, we've conceded eight goals at the Majeski. Uh, the first one losing 5 1 in the League Cup in uh, August of 2009, and then obviously 3 0 in the Championship last season with uh, John Brayford. Uh, Getting a great finish in for Reading there, uh, scored an own, an own goal, but it's quite unfortunate if I remember. So hopefully he can uh, turn it around uh, on Saturday, and then of course later on in the season, um, there was uh, the last game of the season actually was a four-two defeat to Reading at home. Corley Woodrow and Ben Turner getting the goals for the Brewers actually. Uh, uh, Reading have uh, have the highest average possession figure in the championship so far this season. So their average 
possession per game is a 59.2%, so basically almost 60%. Uh, but as uh, Luke Murphy mentioned in his Burton Albion interview, that could turn it into our favour uh, as they play similar football to uh, Brentford, who of course we went to and managed to come home with a point. Uh, we'll be looking for successive league wins uh, for quite a while. Um, I'm not sure. I think it might be uh, since January 2016 uh, for successive league away wins. And yeah, it was January 2016. Well, we actually have four wins in a row away. Uh, so hopefully we can kick on, like I said, from that win against Bolton. So, uh, I'm going to make my score prediction now. And I'm going to... It's going to be quite a, a brave one. I think it's going to be... Reading 1, Burton Albion 1. Then we'll get a point uh, at the 500th game at the Majoski. Uh Same results we did against Brentford. I can see it being a pretty similar performance. Uh, they'll get the first goal and we'll score one quite late on to uh, equal it out. So I will be travelling down to the Majeski Stadium tomorrow. Uh, if any of you there, you know the usual, give me a wave if you want. Uh, best time to find me pre-match. Um, also, check out Reading FC Vlogger, RFC Vlogger. Um, he's asked me to uh, join him pre-match and uh, do a little interview on his channel. Uh, so go check him out and... Uh, Drop a comment saying Bruce TV was here, something like that. I'll leave it up to you to be creative. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'll be uh, at Reading and the vlog will hopefully be, hopefully be out later that Saturday night as I travel home on the coach. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.